Greetings and thank you for giving us the opportunity to come to you today. It's the last day of the week, Saturday. I trust that you've had a good week and things that we've been learning together day by day have been encouraging you and strengthening you emotionally, mentally. That's what we've been talking about through the course of this week. As we get as we close out this week, I want to encourage us to pursue a healthy heart life. You see, if you want to have a healthy body, we are encouraged to eat healthy. Then we can have a healthy body. Similarly, in order to have a healthy mind or a good mental health or to be emotionally whole, it is important to maintain a healthy thought life. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8, the Apostle Paul writes for us, he says, Finally, brethren, or in conclusion, he says, Whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate or think about such things. So, he's pointing us to think about things that are good, noble. What occupies your mind is important for your mental health, your mental well-being. What you feed your mind with is important for your mental health. Now, sadly, you know, our access to information uh, today, in some ways it's good, but in some ways it also is detrimental. If we are not careful to filter out uh, things that are contrary to the things that we read in Scripture, things that are opposite to this, things that are impure, that are not of good report, that are not praiseworthy, uh, that are not virtuous, uh, that are not noble, uh, if we feed our mind with these wrong ingredients, these negative things, it's going to be detrimental to our mental health. So you, in many ways, are responsible. You and I, we are responsible for our own mental health. And it happens as we follow the instruction here in Scripture to make sure we feed our mind with good things. Feed your mind with the Word of God. Be careful what you expose your mind to, especially on social media or on television or the Internet. You know, cut off things that are unnecessary, that are not good. You know, do feed your mind with things that educate you, that stir up your mind intellectually, that are good, uh, that will help you in you know, whatever you're doing as a, as a, in professionally or other areas that you're engaged in. Feed your mind with good, healthy things. Then you and I can walk in good health, mental health. Let the Word of God be your guide. If there's anything that contradicts God's truth, that is not honest, that is not truthful, that has no integrity, no virtue, that does not come from a person of good godly character, uh, you know, leave those things out. Feed yourself with good things, mentally. Let's pray. Lord, grant us wisdom so that we feed our mind with good things, that we contemplate on good things. We occupy our thoughts with good things so we can have good health mentally, emotionally. Give us wisdom on this. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.